Hello, my name is Jari Lansio. I'm programmer at the company called Metosin. This is Closure Gently, a short video where I'll show you how to get started programming Closure using Eclipse IDE. So the target audience for this video are programmers who, first of all, are curious about Closure, obviously, uh, who know how to program in Java, although st strictly not necessary, but it will help, and who are familiar with the Eclipse IDE. In this video I will show you how to install counterclockwise plugin for closure programming, create a Hello World project, and uh, start some interactive development with the help of the REPL. So the goal of this video is not to teach you a, programming a closure programming language, the goal is to get you a basic setup so that you can start experimenting and uh, hacking with Clojure. I assume that you already have uh, Eclipse up and running. If not, uh, download and install Eclipse from uh, uh, eclipse.org website. Once the Eclipse is uh, up and running, it's time to install the plugin. So go to Help Install New Software and click this uh, Add button. The name of the plugin we are using is called Counterclockwise and the URL, I have it in here, uh, the website is uh, code.google.com slash p slash counterclockwise. Uh, by the way, I will be providing you all the uh, links that I used in this video at the end of the video. The information that we are looking for is this URL here, stable channel, I will copy that and paste it in here and click OK. As you can see there's only one plugin available so choose that one, click Next. I cannot proceed any further because I have already installed this plugin but you should click Next and uh, accept the license and uh, download and install the plugin and uh, as usual. And uh, when the Eclipse has restarted with the plugin it's time to continue. So pause this video and continue after you have installed the plugin. So it's time to create our own, uh, the first closure project. So in this pl package explorer, I will right click, choose new. Okay, there's a lot of Java stuff and uh, all the closure stuff is uh, in this other section. So before I will uh, continue, I will do some uh, customization. I go to window, customize perspective. In this uh, shortcut section, I will click the closure and choose the closure namespace shortcut and also the laning and shortcut and uh, since we are not going to be using Java uh, I will disable all the Java shortcuts at this time and I click OK OK now let's try new OK much more compact new laning and project and I give it a name hello now the laning and it's a build tool just like Maven in fact, it uses the same repositories and artifacts as a, as a Maven. And uh, if you are developing with the Maven, you would create a pom.xml file, but in uh, Leningen, you will create a project.clj file. It's the same purpose. So let's see what the uh, wizard created for us. It uh, provided us some source folder, some test, and here's the uh, project.clj file. Let's open that one. As you can see, uh, it uh, there's a definition for the artifact name of our project, and there's a version, some description, URL, uh, license, these are optional information, and then there is the dependencies. Uh, in this case, we only have one dependency to closure itself, version 1.4.0. Uh, this is fine at this time. So let's go check out the source file. Here's the source folder, hello folder, and there is a core.clj. I'll open that one. The first thing you'll notice that there is a namespace declaration. Uh, this is uh, um, roughly the same thing as a uh, package declarations in uh, top of the uh, uh, Java source files. So we declare package or the namespace hello.core. And there's also one function for us provided the main function. Now the, the name of the function is actually hyphen main. Uh, there's nothing special for closure about this name, but there is a, a Java interoperability issue with this, so uh, that I will come back later. 
before I will continue uh, with the uh, closure development uh, in my project, I will always start the REPL. Now the REPL stands for uh, Read, Evaluate, Print loop. So it read or whatever you type, it evaluate what you type it, and it prints the results and it loops back. And this is a very, very effective way to develop software, in my opinion. So let's start the REPL. I will in this source for, uh, file I will <coughs> right click closure load file in REPL and since we don't have the REPL running the Eclipse plugin the counterclockwise plugin started one for us and here it is we can uh, test this let's type something like one okay we can see that one evaluates to one and the string like foo they evaluated string foo and uh, let's make a invocation to function. Let's call function named one. Uh, sorry, the function named plus with the uh, let's say three arguments. Okay, seems like the uh, the REPL is working. Let's jump back into the source file here. Uh, now, for the, um, basically our hello world is already provided for us, but uh, just for the sake of the uh, uh, testing, let's let's write our own version. Let's say define uh, fun define function called hello with just one argument say uh, n short for name and uh, let's say print line hello your name now I wanted to test this in the REPL immediately so what I can do is that I can for example co do the same thing again say closure uh, load file in REPL which would load the whole file again in the REPL. No, that's fine for this case, but uh, there, there are other options. I could, of course, copy paste this one to REPL. But what I usually do is that I will set, I want to just set this selection into the REPL. So there is a, already a shortcut for that. There's in closure, there's a evaluate current selection or top level S expression in the REPL. So this one, if I have something selected, it will send that selection into REPL for evaluation. If nothing is selected, it will automatically select the top level S expression. In this case, for example, if I'm here, the top level S, expre S expression is this definition. So I can try it. It was the shortcut key was Command Enter or Control Enter in Windows. So what happened is that this uh, selection, uh, this uh, expression was sent to REPL for evaluation and it was evaluated. Now evaluation is not same as our execution so it was evaluated so now the hello function should be uh, uh, ready to, to be called. So we can try it out in the REPL let's call hello. Okay we get there uh, something's wrong. It says that the wrong number of arguments and sure enough we should provide one argument. So let's try it again. Hello world Okay, now it worked. So as as you can see that just uh, we can just by clicking command enter we can send functions to be evaluated in the in the REPL. Uh, we can also uh, I quite find this uh, jumping back and forth into the re uh, REPL and the source file it's not so convenient. So uh, f fortunately we can do the same from here. So ex for example hello world again and just hitting command enter and this was evaluated in the REPL. Okay, I'll remove that one. Uh, I'll remove this document, uh, these uh, str uh, document strings in functions, they are optional. So I will just remove that at this point and organize the code like this. So instead of printing the hello world in here, I will just, wa I want my main function to call my own hello world function. Now, now we have basically we have a, our own uh, application with the main function ready to be used. Uh, I wanted to uh, show you how to evaluate uh, to call this from a command line and to create a jar file for this. So uh, for that purpose, we need uh, first a uh, little bit of uh, Java interoperability. Now there is there are two directions. One is to call Java uh, call the Java libraries from Java uh, from Clojure. Uh, that's trivial. For example, we can uh, let's call system uh, current time millis 
for example and uh, we, as you can see the syntax is a little bit different there's the uh, name of the class and calling static methods is done with the slash so but anyway the calling to uh, to Java uh, from closure to Java is trivial the other way around it's a little bit more tricky but still uh, there are a lot of utilities that make it quite easy the thing that we now need is that I would like to uh, instruct the uh, closure compiler that uh, created Java class from this uh, uh, namespace uh, in a way that the uh, Java applications or appli uh, any application that expects to see a proper Java uh, object would work. For that purpose I will introduce in inside the namespace again class directive. I, this will this is an instruction for compiler that okay here's the namespace and I would like you to create a Java class out of it. I can provide here the uh, uh, base class and the interfaces that this one implements like java.lang.object uh, but since just like in Java side this is a, a by default if you don't declare uh, then the the your class is extend object so that's just enough. Uh, there's still one more thing if I wanted to create an executable jar file is that just like if you have built using uh, Maven you have to put this uh, uh, name of the main class into the uh, char, uh, char file manifest. Uh, Leningen can do that for us we just uh, provide a main and say the main is in hello.core and that's all we need to do. Now let's try this one from the uh, uh, from command line. Uh, in order to, uh, to run applications from command line, the laning and applications from command line, you will need the lane. Although the uh, counterclockwise plugin installed uh, the, its own version of the lane and uh, it's built into the uh, counterclockwise, but in order for you to call uh, from command line to laning and you will need that to be installed. Now, head to this uh, site called technomancy slash laning in GitHub. Uh, here's the home of the laning and project. Uh, as you can see, there's uh, instructions. Uh, it's really trivial to install it to, to Linux and, and to Mac. You just download the script, place it into your path, and give it an executable write, and that's it. Uh, if you're in Windows, it's a little bit more complicated, but not much. Uh, just follow these instru uh, instructions uh, for Windows. Uh, once you have the laning and installed, I'm now in the uh, go to the same uh, folder where the uh, our application is. Uh, this is where the project or CLJ is. Uh, let's make sure. Yeah, okay, we are in the right place. So we can try lane run, for example. Uh, we tell lane that to compile that and run it. Okay, and we can say lane uber char. Now the uber char, if you are not familiar with the term, it means that create a char file which which contains all your dependencies. So in this case, it packages also the uh, Clo uh, closure libraries into your char file. So we should be able to run it like this Java char target hello standalone. And we can see that we can now execute our closure application from the command line. That concludes uh, uh, this session where I have shown you how to install the plugin to Eclipse, uh, how to create a project in uh, Eclipse, and how to create a standalone char file uh, that you can uh, then run your applications. Thank you for watching. As I mentioned during the video, I promised to provide you the, uh, the links that I used. Uh, so here's a list of resources. First of all, there's a, a closure homepage. Uh, then there's a link to a counterclockwise plugin that we used uh, for closure development in Eclipse. And then the command line tool, the laning and the build tool. Also, uh, I recommend that you check this uh, foreclosure. Uh, it's a website that contains a lot of uh, examples and well uh, challenges for you to solve using closure. It's very nice. Uh, then there's a community effort for closure docs, which contain uh, annotated examples of uh, a lot of closure functions. And then there's a closure works, which, uh, which basically contains a lot of uh, closure projects that you might be interested. Thank again. Thanks for watching.